What's the most unethical life hack you know? Have a large, professional looking camera. Get a bright vest that says, press on it. Make an ID. Go to town. Almost free access anywhere. If you shop around at garage sales or Goodwill, some brands offer lifetime warranties. If you want to lie, make a part of the lie something shameful. Everybody will believe you. You can get into most places by wearing a maintenance uniform I.E. coveralls, a construction helmet plus vest and carrying a toolbox or ladder. I would recommend a respirator and gloves. No more movie tickets needed. Girl Scout cookies are able to be resold easily. Girl Scouts are terrible at spotting counterfeit currency. If you're looking for a parking and you ended up somewhere where rows of cars got fined, just pull up, park your car, walk over to one of those cars, take the fine from their windscreen and put it on yours. Enjoy your day. In the self-checkout aisle, you call the shots. Organic pears become regular pears. Organic apples become regular pears. Organic meat becomes regular pears. If you tear off the barcode, the scanner is just a mindless machine, take control of your own destiny. McDonald's serves breakfast after 11.00 if you bring a gun. I worked at a grocery store and saw the same three people show up all the time and steal stuff. The manager said there aren't even recordings for the cameras and they don't care if people steal. I started treating myself to lunch after that. Using billions in taxpayer federally funded research to create medications and then turn around and charge those same taxpayers a 1000 fold increase in costs while also getting tax cuts myself from the very middleman politicians who give me the public funds. Oh but wait. One important caveat, why do these politicians help me out so much? Because of course I get ultra rich, but they want their cut, their political campaign donation of course. From the very pool of profits I made off their constituents' taxpayer money. Vahahaha. <laughs> Evil laugh. You can head over to our unethical fee products and get thousands of, for entry level, lower level jobs, lie on your resume. Most places don't have the time to check that you're telling the truth. Put a friend's phone number down as an old boss, or bump up your degree, whatever you need to do. Just make sure you actually have the skills you claim to have. If I break something that is still available for sale, I go buy a new one, the return the broken one with the new receipt a day later, saying it only lasted a day. I use this for video game controllers, toasters, blenders, vacuums, and a lot of items. The store never questions it, and I get a new item for very little effort and no additional cost. Bluffing on your resume about training skills and experience, although make sure you are well versed in the skills and aware of the fake experience. Petty judgmental attitude towards others to make you forget your low self-esteem. Unethical but way too common. I have lied through my teeth every time I have been sat on a jury to get out of it. Works every time. Educate childs using dog training techniques. Invest in a tall trench coat, a hat and some sunglasses. Two kids stacked on top of each other makes you an adult, free reign at adult-only parties. If you're sober, not using the cell phone, it's a stranger, and you don't run away, you can purposefully kill a pedestrian or cyclist with your car and chalk it up to an accident. It works especially well in New York City. HTTPS colon slash slash freakonomics.com slash podcast slash the dash perfect dash crime slash HTTPS colon slash slash freakonomics.com slash podcast slash y dash is dash the dash u dash s dash so dash good dash at dash killing dash pedestrians slash